Okay, we're gonna open this bad boy now. And let's see what's inside. Hold on a second. They did what? That's impossible. Impossible. Stay tuned to find out. Hi guys, welcome back. It's Cats from K Cats Arts, and today I'm doing the most anticipated review I've been wanting to do for the longest time. The kind people at Huion sent me. I'm so excited. Their creative pen tablet, and it's the HS610, which is down here. Um, I'm super excited to try this out. So let's get started and open it up. I'm so excited. And I will tell you what that surprise thing is because it's absolutely, absolutely amazing. This company has done something that no other company has done before or yet. Um, so I'm just excited to try this new product. So thank you so much, Helion, for collabing with me on this. And I hope you like the video and that we get to do other ones big display tablet probably um, in the future but thank you so much for taking a chance on me so let's get the right, so I'm gonna open it up here let's see what's inside first thing you see is a thank you card and their information they're just saying if you're they hope that you're hundred percent happy with your new Humion product that's what it kind of looks like super nice I'm so excited. I'm going to open the tablet last, so I hope this is filming because I'm doing two views here. So I hope you guys enjoy this. Just let me know in the comments below. Okay, let's stop it right here. Before I go any further, there's a link below in the video. So pause this video right here, right now. Well, do it after I explain the instructions. Go to the link below. It's for Amazon and purchase your tablet right now. Based on what I'm seeing here, this is absolutely worth the money. And yeah, that's all I can say. So pause, I'll wait a second. Okay, you guys are back. Perfect. So we're going to see what is inside here. So you get your standard um, little USB port tablet. So this end plugs into the tablet itself and this one will go into the back of the computer really nice and handy to travel with sorry for the bobbin uh, computer there and then really nice stand I hope I'm in frame on the other one so super nice bring it up here as well so it's really nice and inside is hidden all the little extra nibs for the So there's eight nibs and on the bottom is where you change it out and it has like a little quick instructions down here of how to change it out. This is the free gift okay and that is the impossible thing that they did and I will explain it all in this video because I'm going to do the best review that I could possibly do on this. I love this beautiful thing. I'm so excited. This is beautiful. I honestly had no idea that this is what it was going to look like. Yeah, guys, the pen. Let me get it out of here. It's rubberized and then it has the standard tip on it. It's super nice and sleek and it has a good balance to it so I like the tapered end and then on it it has the branding from the company of Huion and then it has its quick little express keys on the actual pen um, and you can change them to whatever function you want to do with them so that is super nice okay let's just get to it really nice bag 
which is handy if you're going to go out on the boat because you can definitely throw this into your backpack or your bag wherever you're traveling because of the special function if you do not have a laptop it does something marvelous and wonderful and i hope the review goes really well for that so oh, look at that bad boy so super nice yes i have my fingerprints on it it's gonna happen so along the top, you have 16 ex uh, soft express keys, and those are uh, changeable as well, as well as your touch keys here, or express keys is what they call them, and these are the soft keys. Um, and then your panning wheel, which is a really nice feature, and you have 12 keys in your panning wheel, and I believe the center wheel is only function to one particular thing, and that's like zooming in and zooming out. And I think the center, it lets you toggle through like different brush settings. It depends on the program that you are using, but this is nice. So again, I'll sit back and wait. What are you waiting for? Pause it right here. Go to the Amazon link, purchase yours now. Now I'm in Canada, so in the Amazon, as this video is currently filming, the price is $99, $99 so 100 bucks. Um, and right now they're doing like a pre-sale kind of thing to launch it because this is their newest product. So that is, that is why I'm so excited that Qion set this to me for you guys to see this. Now, I don't really use pen tablets. I have borrowed my friend's tablet, which is a Wacom, which is somewhere here. Um, just their little Intuos, sorry about the painter's tape here. The little Intuos Pro and you can see what a difference of surface area there is and I don't know even the pen it, like the size difference it just feels nice and I like the thicker pen personally so this is the Wacom this is the new Huion and this is their new pen which has 8192 pressure sensitivity and it is wireless so really nice um, yeah and this one here is like thousand and forty two so I can't wait to test the difference between them now I'm not a digital artist yet now I am going back to school so that is one of the reasons that I have this tablet here because I wanted something that I would be able to take with me to school and use um, when I'm in between classes if I can't get to the lab because I am taking um, an art program that does deal with like video games and gaming in general and creating characters and backgrounds and environments and weapons and all that kind of fun stuff. So having a digital tablet for that particular course is a must. Now in general, um, in terms of the future and how things are going, I believe that every artist should try to do a digital piece or something like that because that is the future. Um, I'm not knocking down traditional art because that's what I love to do, but to, to do it on here, I'm kind of interested to see how that works out. So let's hook this baby up and see what it does. Oh, I forgot. There's some other stuff in here. Surprise! <laughs> So it comes with um, the instructions on this cute little, like it looks like a CD, and it just has the instructions of how to download your drivers. Now just remember one thing, when you are download downloading your drivers for Huion for the first time, depending on what um, system you guys have, make sure to uh, change out your settings, like for example, like I have a Mac, and it actually blocks you from downloading any porn or unrecognizable Unrecognable. The stuff you can't recognize. I can't say it today. Don't mind me. Um, the programs that they can't not recognize um, in your system. So it kind of blocks it out. So you have to go through like accessibilities and go into private settings and change that out. So if you're wondering why it's not loading and giving you this error that it can't recognize the tablet. That is the reason. It's kind of frustrating, but once you get past that, it's so super easy to load. I will do a soft load on here or show you how to do it. So let me get back to this. So warranty card, so remove, I'm jumping everywhere. Yes, that's what I do. 
So remove your drivers from any other tablets that you do have, like your Wacom or whatever you have, um, and just remove them so that this program runs easily with this tablet. So inside it has the instructions about the the tablet itself and what it comes with and all those kind of neat stuff. So let me set all this to the side. Oh, I didn't even show you how this works. Hold that there for a sec. Cool. It holds the pet really nicely. Um, I must say it is a little bit wobbly, but that's okay because it's just to sit there. Um, and then it also can balance across it. Let's see if I have balance. So it can also rest like that or more like that, whatever you prefer. But I find that easier. So I'll show it down here as well. So it can just balance like that or straight up and down. It's your preference. Okay, I'll be right back. I'm going to hook up the cable to the side here. Or let me just start it. You won't be able to see behind the computer, but there's a little hole here. And you're just gonna line up the shape because that's how I do it instead of screwing anything up and click in. That's pretty much it. And then the other one goes behind your computer and then we'll get started. All right, so we're gonna get started. So I have the tablet set up here. Now this area is the activated area. There is triangles on either side here. I hope you can see them. If not, um, I'll probably show a closer look after. But this whole area is the activated area. Now compared to this Wacom Cintiq, it's an older model, yes. Um, this was the activated area. It was just a small little piece. So to be able to draw on something so big and so much more affordable is unreal. So let's give this a try. Um, so when you log on, you're gonna go onto the Huion website. So I'll see if I can bring that up here. So um, downloads or you can go right onto their website and they have a section where the same information does come up. Now the cool thing about this is once you're activated and your drivers are up, this can be used as a mouse, which is kind of interesting. So you can either scroll through um, the screen and look for the version, or you can look for your actual tablet, which is the H HS610, not to get confused with the H610. So just hit enter and then you're gonna look for your driver and you just pick if you have a Windows based or an Apple based and I pick this one and I download it and it comes up here and then you'll see my driver so you can see I tried it a few times um, so yeah so the driver comes up like that and then I just put it over here on the tablet so when I click on to there There we go. Across here, it'll have the Hue Ion tablet. So then you click onto here, and then um, I just moved it onto the board, onto my desktop. I hope I'm explaining that right. So I'm gonna click onto that now. So this is what comes up, and then you can import configurations, defaults, and all that kind of stuff. So press keys, if I click on that, it will have um, activated certain amounts already. So the second one is a brush setting. Um, again, I think this is preset up to a Photoshop setting. So if you are using a different uh, program, we're gonna be using the Clip Studio Paint. Um, so if it's a different setup and programs, it may not necessarily work based on their default keys that are already enabled on here. So you may have to change it. So the control Z is down here on the bottom or command Z um, for erasing. And then you have um, empty keys along here. So I think I might update um, 
the express keys here and then this is your zoom wheel that area you are not able to change so as you can see it doesn't populate but all these other functions are here and these are all customizable i have never seen a tablet that does have like the hard keys which is really nice and they're really nice to touch um, but along here to be able to just go up there and click on the number that you want i think that's absolutely amazing and then your pen stylus um, it has the top one is a mouse right click um, and then the E which is the eraser and again you can change these to whatever you want and then your pressure sensitivity test it can test out on how you want that and this is absolutely amazing so you can see the lightest touch is activating that and when I press hard it it's so neat so like with one brush you could create different sizes I don't know what to say. The Huey on you, you did this correctly. Like this pen feels absolutely amazing in my hand. Um, it feels natural. It doesn't feel weird at all. Now, in regards to Huey on and their products, um, I find it not the product is disappointing. I find that their credibility is down. Like. What I'm trying to say is the Wacom is a standard tablet and I feel like this is better and can compete against them. I, I, I hate to refer to their company as a third party company. I think they should be standard, absolutely. So again, based on what I'm feeling here, go and order it. I'm being completely serious. This is absolutely, it's amazing. So again, it's on Amazon. The link is below. It's $99.95 or 99 cents, whatever. It's a hundred bucks. And they have a coupon on there right now uh, for $15 so off, off. So you get it for $85. And if you have, um, what's it called? Um, the Amazon Prime, you can get free shipping, which I think is so super cool. I don't know why my screen is like this. Okay. Let's try that again. Go to Studio Paint. Bizarre. You... Um, yeah, so I'm in Studio Paint right now. I know it's kind of hard to see the screen. Let's see if I can fix that. Just give me one second. Alright, so I'm trying to make this work. So I hope you can see that somewhat in here. Um, and I've opened the new thing. So there is a limited um, amount of features as you can see over here, because I wanna test this out. I definitely think I'm gonna buy it um, based on what I've tried. Um, so yeah, that's what I think I'm gonna do. So I'm just gonna go into, I had it on my desktop. See all my pictures here. But this is fun, guys. Um, yeah, let's see. Go into here, import. And I do have it on my desktop this here. There's like random pictures here. Sorry, guys. this and find it. Yep, that's the one I want. Open it up. Ooh, it's really big. So I'm gonna shrink this down here. then right up here you just rotate it to however you want which I think is really cool this is absolutely responsive I love it so here is the little ring and we're gonna test that out so you can see it can go like right in so you can see and as tiny as you want so 
I'm going to start with this and I've imported an image because this is my first time drawing on a tablet like this and I'm not sure what I'm doing. So over here is layers. So I want to make this a little bit, um, the opacity lower. So I'm just going to hit this button and you can see it's lightening up. Okay. And I want to add a new layer, so I'm going to hit here. And then along here is my pens. Now the second one was B. So, ooh, so it does work. Did you see that, guys? It jumped right in. Oh, that's so exciting. So if I hit B, it brings to my brushes here, which is really super, super cool. My brush settings. Want to ink with. So let me just do some tests and show you what it's like. So this is super light to super heavy. Look, it's like absolutely responsive. Like where I'm putting the pen is where it's actually happening. There is no lag. It's it's just wonderful. Um, eraser. This one. Yep. So. The settings that are on here is actually working with this, so I'm super excited. So I'm gonna hit undo. I don't know what the undo it to do is control Z, which was down here somewhere. I don't know. So let's just get rid of that layer. Let's go back to brushes, B, and you can see it just clicks over. That's so exciting, guys. Okay, uh, smooth brush, brisk. I kind of liked this one. Um, and then down here, you can change your colors, obviously. So, the darker shade, you can change it like that, the different colors. That's a little bit too dark. So hit undo. Undo. Uh, let's try the smooth brush. And you can change the sizes of your brush if you don't want it that big. So I might lower mine down just so I can get. Now, I'm not the greatest. But this is so neat. It is so responsive. So you can see with one stroke, just from pressing down harder, I got a thicker line. And I think that is so cool. Let's go in here, super light, twirl it. And if I wanted to hide this layer that I'm drawing on, you can see what's left behind. Let me just click it back to bring it back. Um, I know there was pencils somewhere. just so I can get it nice and line here. Okay. 
Now if you make a mistake, again, you can go up here um, and hit undo, and it will, it will erase that line. So I'm going to erase all this. size, we can change the opacity, we can change how much um, the brush ink comes out, and we can also put stabilizer on it, just so if you don't want such a shaky line. So you can see that's kind of shaky. Again, it comes with practice. It's not saying that this is shaky, it's just not shaky. I like this a lot. It feels so natural. I was really worried about this, guys. I'm not even lying to you. I was super worried. So I'm going to lower my brush and I'm going to use. I'm going to click on the screen here and zoom in. Now it seems somewhat pixelated and I think that's just the program I'm on. I know that Photoshop is more of a vector program so it'll be sharper. Now you can change this into vector as well after. But for now I'm just fooling around. So I'm not getting super precise here like in terms of like that I want it perfect. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, oh, I was able to change something on here. Come on. Mm, oh, see vector brush. That's kind of interesting. I'm talking about it. Like I don't want a vector. Well, maybe that was the brush I was using hard. Well, that's an eraser, so oh, it went to the eraser section. Okay, cool. Just to make sure. Um, I think I was using this one. I had it switch on me. So, I really like this. I'm enjoying it. So you can see I was able to get such a small little line and like bigger lines if I wanted to. Like thick line like that. So neat. And then if I zoom out, that is so cool. I'm really Huya or welcome you have a definitely competition there is absolutely nothing wrong with this tablet this is so professional and I could see this at different people's studios it's so worth it guys like I don't know what you're waiting for if you want to get into digital art this is definitely the, the pen tablet for you. Now again, I'm hoping that in the future I'll be able to um, work with Huey on again and then I'll be able to show you their pen display tablet and that one you're able to draw directly onto the tablet screen and you're able to see the magic kind of happening before your eyes. But this is kind of magical in itself. Like, this is so sweet. Again, I'm just fooling around here, 
not making anything perfect. Probably at the end you will see a finished piece because you know me, I can't leave it undone. Sorry if my other second camera is shaking a lot. I'm just having too much fun with this. This is so natural. It's like as you can see I was, I was struggling a little bit in the beginning but lightening it. Okay. That's interesting. So, I think I do. Okay. So, I'm going to go to multiply. And from my understanding of multiply, what it does, it goes underneath. So, it's not. Um, so, I can make it this bigger with this brush. Oh, that's a huge brush. Ooh, this feels so nice. This thing is so responsive. So you can see I'm coloring on here um, and it's not going over my lines and that's because I've multiplied the color so that it stays inside of here. So I'm just gonna go across because I know I can go over top of that. Just gonna have darker skin. That's okay. I normally don't do darker skin. You know what? I'm excited today. And I'm gonna do it. Uh, and if you get over, like that you see there, if I hit my button on my pen, I hope it works. That's okay. I know it was working. I don't know what I did, but you know, move it out. One of these got my eraser. So, let's see, this is still recording. Yep. So, I'm going to go with this soft one, and I can come in here. There we go. And I can, oh my god, this is so amazing. This thing is so responsive. Okay, so 
Because once you figure out um, where the stuff is, it works out so... I don't know. I can't explain it, guys. Um, let me see if I can find it through here. So you can rotate your canvas here if you wanted to on this. Um, again, you can set it up on one of your little things. Okay, so I'm going to leave this here. Once I figure out this program, I will insert what the picture will turn out to. So I hope that kind of gave you a brief idea. Um, I could color it a little bit more, like let's say if I wanted to give her purple hair or something, I can definitely um, just make sure I'm on the right layer. Let me go to Just like that and I love this it just colors like I it's so hard to, to explain it because you're just seeing me just color but like feeling it on the screen like I've used Krita that's why I didn't bring that one up because I'm pretty sure you saw it on my my desktop and Krita I find there's such a lag and I don't know this is this is amazing Lighter colors in here and see like it's really cool it's like having you know what digital art is is like having all the colors of Copic markers in your hand and then some like you can do amazing things with this and this is really neat thank you Yulian thank you so much I think this is going to change my coloring aspect and all that kind of fun stuff because this is truly, I can't explain to you how amazing this looks. And again, I will finish the picture, I promise, and I will bring it up here. But I want to move on to this, the special gift. So just bear with me and I'll be right back. corresponding um, piece that you would need to hook up an Android device. Yes, I'm hooking up my dad's, I borrowed it from him, um, his Samsung Android device, or Android device. Okay, I'm going to put it back the stand there, and I'm going to log into Medibank. So basically, the tablet allows you to hook up to any operating system on an Android um, Android based program um, that's 6.0 and higher so you can use it on a tablet like this or you can use it on a cell phone um, that has an operating system of 6.0 or more. So I'm going to go into, so you can't really see it from anywhere but it has activated it well. And your activation area when you are using um, the tablet is this half because basically it corresponds to the size of your screen it's not necessarily the full piece but even having this small amount um, does give you enough room in order to work so let's tap here there we go so i'm in medibang that's what i'm using Like, it's amazing, actually. 
Um, to be honest with you, I was told that it's just this amount of the area, but I'm actually able to use my complete surface. As you can see, um, it does go according to your screen size. Let's see if it works. Rotation here. Oh yeah, that's really cool. So there is no lag. This particular pen that I'm using, it does um, fix your lines, like it tapers it off. So I'll show you if I make this really long line. You can see it's one continuous line, and then it tapers off. It's really neat. And then I can activate my eraser. They have changed, like, that's amazing, Huion. You have done something that other companies have not done yet, and it's just truly amazing. Unreal. You can grab all your different tools and fill if you wanted to in between. This is a really neat program, actually. I'm gonna try it out, probably review it in another video, but yeah, this is great. Um, but yeah very responsive so it works really well and it's the same way on a cellular phone so what there is what they've done is change the ability to be able to do artwork on the go so just throwing in your tablet and this and you're ready to go it's it's i don't know what to say good for you thank you so much for letting me try this and thank you for coming out with such an amazing device like this that anybody can use and you don't necessarily need that um, what's it called a laptop to hook up you're able to hook up anywhere that's amazing so i hope you enjoyed this part guys and you can see it is completely like you're able to control your entire tablet with this this is amazing so good for you Huion. and we'll get back to the final review thanks Thanks guys for watching this. I hope this has helped you decide on purchasing something like this. Like I said in my video, and I hope you watched that part when I was working on the tablet. Like I said, Wacom is typically the standard of um, when you're working at a studio, professionally, um, a graphic artist at home or a digital artist, everybody is after Wacom's. Don't get me wrong, Wacom's are great products. I'm not gonna lie, they are. Sorry, I'm like trying to push everything aside. They're great products, but here's the problem. Money. Their price tags are outrageously high, and I get it because they, they were the first to the market, they were the first to create such a wonderful product in order to make digital art. And then third party companies started coming in, figuring out, I'm gonna figure out how to make it better. I'm gonna figure out how all of this works. What do I have to say about Huion? Huion, you are outstanding. Your customer service is unreal. Right from the beginning of our collaboration to this point, you have been so kind, so nice. I don't know what to say. They are unreal. They will help you every step of the way. They want to ensure that you are getting a product that you will love. In terms of being a third party company, I don't think they are. I think they're number one. And I'm not saying this because I'm doing a collaboration with them. I was able to have the ability to say whatever I wanted to freely. And this is truly and honestly from the bottom of my heart, an honest review. This product, is out of this world. Like I said earlier, this product is $99, 99 cents Canadian. So US, it's probably even cheaper. And right now, because they are doing pre-orders of this, um, and it is available on Amazon, just follow the link below. You get $15 off if the, the coupon's still there. I hope it is. If it's not, I'm sorry, you missed out. But there's a $15 coupon, so bring in this product to $85. You have Prime Amazon, you're gonna get free shipping. Not only can you have the option to have it delivered, you know, today, five days from now, 
I was able to get this within a day from China here. Huion, that is truly outstanding and that means so much to me. I believe you are not a third party company. You are a force to be reckoned with. You have disrupted the digital art industry and all artists out there. If you do not get your hands on this HS 610, and I'm saying HS because they, they did have a previous model called HS 10, or sorry, H10, and then an H10 Pro or something like that. This is the HS 10. This is the new technology. This pen has tilt function where you're able to like, you know, when you're scribbling on a pen like this, you're able to still get the marks. It has 8192 pressure sensitivity. You have your full ability based on your programs that you use. Like example, I used Clip Studio Art today. You're able to get an array of colors in your fingertips and create such outstanding pieces of artwork compared to like I'm looking at Copic markers. Copic markers have 350 colors or whatever it is. And that is it. I'm able to blend them, yes, and all that kind of stuff, but this is hundreds and millions of colors and combinations that you can create in your fingertips with this pen. It's wireless, so you're not worrying about the wire. I'm pretty sure even if you did have a wire like the older models, you just unplug it and you use it. The charge on those things are hours and hours and days from what I'm, I'm aware of. Um, I don't know what to say. This is outstanding. To have the ability to, you know, grab your mo mobile device and like, inspiration comes to you, you see something and you want to capture that, you're able to open a program right here on, sorry, you can see my lighting. <laughs> you can open a program right here on your Samsung or your Android device or your phone and you're able to draw right there, real time. You can see, I did it right in front of you. I'm able to create a piece of art anywhere and everywhere I want to go. This is, the Huion product is super thin. As you can see, it felt comfortable. My my hand was able to rest directly on this. It wasn't hanging off. There was no problems with the keys. Again, I am new to digital art, but I was able to use these quite easily and they were very responsive. There was no lag. It wasn't slow. It was unreal. Again, with this product, you are getting the 12 express keys here on the side and your wheel to zoom in and zoom out. That one is not changeable. It is a standard. All the rest, you can command it to whatever you want. Not only you're thinking 12, I'll just still use my keyboard. There is no reason for your keyboard. Across here, I don't know if you can see that. There we go. 16 soft keys they're called soft keys you are able to program those to whatever you want so you are able to just throw this in your bag throw it in your wire you do not need a, an adapter it's automatically responsive as soon as you touch onto the pen um, see that but in the corner up here it does light up that it's an activated surface when it's on your tablet or wherever you're working on your computer so I don't know thank you Yuriad. I'm in love you have changed my ability to create art I don't know just thank you thank you thank you thank you so much I thank you for your cooperation and understanding and this collaboration means a lot. Like I said in the beginning, I've been waiting for a long time to do an art collaboration. And this is my first one doing with an art company. So I'm so grateful and so thankful. And guys, stop watching this. Just pause right here. Go and order that Huion today. Like do it right now. It's worth every money. You're, it's, it's solid. It has the rubber stoppers on the back so that it's not slipping on the table. I don't know what else to say. It does take a little time getting used to, like, you know, drawing in front of your screen and then drawing here, your your mind kind of gets tricky. But as you can see, as I was going through it, it was natural, it was flowy. With my walk-up, like the intuits, the intuits I had there, I had such a hard time 
finding out where I was and I was like oh my god this is driving me nuts and I drew one picture with it it's a tutorial you can ch check my Instagram and you will see it there and it was okay it turned out nice but I didn't I had fun with it I won't lie but I didn't like the responsiveness of it I felt felt that it was lacking but this this was so responsive so easy to use it felt natural it felt like I was coloring on a paper like if you, it even sounds like I'm scratching on a piece of paper and you're not scratching the surface it's cleanable yes my fingerprints are on it sorry I have oily hands I guess um but yeah it's super responsive so or responsive so thank you Yuyan, once again because I've thanked you a thousand times thank you for doing this collaboration with me and I hope in the future we will be able to bring this channel the display tablet and that's the one where it's like a glass surface it's a monitor it's a tablet right in your hands and you're directly drawing on it that I want to experience so bad so again thank you get yours today follow the link HS610 you can go directly to Huion and order it there um, their prices are amazing you will not be disappointed this is the new standard I don't care welcome I don't care sorry I don't this is new standard right here they have changed the art industry for sure being able to hook it up to any device not not having to carry it around you know your heavy laptop in order to hook it up to make it work you can throw your mobile phone you can throw in your your little Samsung tablet or Android device and just like that's it let's go have fun draw so thank you Yuyan, for creating such an amazing product thank you for taking a chance on me with my new channel and thanks guys for watching if you haven't subscribed to me hit the notification bell subscribe Follow me on Instagram at kcatsarts and you will see more amazing art done with this Huey on. So again, thank you so much. HS610, order yours now. Thanks guys. Bye. Oh yeah, I forgot. Stay tuned. Watch the speed paint and see how that piece of artwork turned out on this Huey on tablet. Thanks.
still do it here. Yeah, I'm tying, I'm tying up my hair. The video's over. Did you order it yet? HS610 from Helion. Link below. Do it now. Go. Stop watching the video. Thanks, guys. Tune into KCATS Arts. Follow me on Instagram. Notification bell below and subscribe for more amazing and crazy and wacky videos like this. Thank you for your on again. And hopefully we'll be able to bring the big display tablet so you guys can enjoy that as well. Thanks. Bye.